What is up, guys? It is Steady Chaos. So in this particular video, I want to revisit a rather controversial topic, it would seem, and that's automatic brightness limiter on LG OLEDs or Sony OLEDs for that matter. LED LCD TVs also have automatic brightness limiter. It's just not as aggressive as it is on OLEDs. An automatic brightness limiter or ABL does just that, right? As your screen approaches full field white, or it has images on the screen that are extremely bright, approaching full field, meaning consuming almost 100% of your TV screen, then the OLED will take it upon itself to dim down. And it uses an algorithm to do this. And so if you go from a two or 5% white window with a peak brightness of around 750 to 800 nits on an LG C1, as soon as you get up to 70, 80, 90% full, almost full field white on your TV, it can dim down to about 150. 160 nits. So that's definitely a, a great and large decrease in overall screen brightness. There's no denying that. There's no doubt that ABL is a thing. It does exist and some people are far more sensitive to it than others. I don't seem to be overly sensitive to it. But be that as it may, it's okay for people's opinions to vary on this topic. I mean, when I made this video, some people agreed with my premise that in real world viewing terms, ABL is not particularly noticeable and not a huge distraction. But there were other people who entirely disagreed and said that they thought it was entirely intrusive, entirely obvious and detectable to the point where they had to return their TVs. And that's that's fine. I don't agree, but that's fine. You know, if you look at some of these comments down here, if we sort by the most recent one, and I need to, I want to throw this disclaimer out there. I am not endorsed or paid by any manufacturer or company for my opinions. I'm not, I'm just a small YouTube channel. I only started making content, what, a year, year and a half ago. I have just under 3000 subscribers, right? <laughs> LG, Sony, they're not gonna notice me yet. I mean, hopefully someday they will, but they don't know who the hell I am. They're not paying me for, to throw out favorable opinions. I'm not some paid shill. So you can stop with that nonsense right there. I do my best to provide you objective content and I do so by showing you demonstrations. I record demonstrations on the screen and if you don't agree with my observation, you can say as much in the comment section, but don't be like, oh, you're a liar. Get your eyes checked, you paid shill. I mean, I mean, look at this most recent comment from Lord Thanos. Why do you think you know what I notice and what I don't notice? I never told you what I think you know or don't know. I've always left I admitted in the previous video that ABL does exist. They go on to say ABL is not just noticeable, it's obvious and it ruins my content viewing experience. If this video is sponsored by an OLED manufacturer, you should be upfront about it at the start of the video. It's not sponsored by any manufacturer. It's not sponsored by anybody. The previous video wasn't sponsored and this video is not sponsored. So let's just get that out of the way, okay? And then if we look at some of the other comments from my previous video, you know, you come down to this guy right here, Jake K. Zahari, whatever. Dude, play for example, Rocket League. It's unplayable on OLED. ABL is so annoying. Test it on Fall Guys. ABL is bad. Uh, I mean, ABL, uh, play on Cold War, it's terrible. So Call of Duty, they're saying it's bad. Um, better buy new glasses. <laughs> okay. Uh, I notice ABL when I'm watching movies. That, that's fine. Uh, at 602, there's ABL kicking in. Don't lie that you can't see it. It's visible in store with ABL circle test when I was checking in 2021 December. Uh, I mean, you switching from the car outside. And this is one of the demos I did in the previous video here with Dirt. Dirt 2, I want to say, the racing game. Sorry to disagree with you, but yes, I can see ABL dimming. Okay, that's totally fine. The video is all right. It tries to prove a point. I'm not really trying to prove anything. I'm just sharing with you my observations, my as objective as possible observations and opinions. That's all I'm doing. And I'm not simply telling you what I observe without showing you the content. No, I'm observing the content real time with you and telling you what I see. So you're free to disagree with me. I mean, it's totally fine. I mean, I suppose we could interpret content two different entirely ways. It's unusual, but it's possible, right? I've seen with my own eyes in the OLED of a friend, ABL get applied in the middle of a movie when watching the news multiple times or when watching the news. It's so annoying, okay? 
I don't know what mystical thing you may be doing, but I just returned to 48C1 because ABL adjustment in games was super distracting. So a lot of people disagree. So what I figured we would do is we would run a specific test pattern to try to induce and observe ABL on my LG C1 here. I am running the 48 inch model just for reference. And then once we've observed what we can from that circle expansion, full field white test pattern, I wanna move on to some real world content for gaming, okay? So why don't we do that right now? So I have a video right here with various gameplay clips recorded on my LG C1 and with this circle test pattern. So let's bring it up. So you see the circle expanding here. Now, as it approaches full field white, you should be looking out for some dimming or some graying of the white. So you see here, when it's between five and I'd say 50%, it stays pretty white. And then when you hit a point where it's like 55 to 60% of the, of the TV screen, the white circle, then you can see it dim a little bit, right? There, you see like a graying of the circle a little bit. But in totality, you have to you have to step back and look at this, okay? Now, I, and I apologize for any reflection you might see in the screen when I recorded this content. It's like an idiot. I left the TV on behind me and it reflected a little bit in the screen, but it's not too bad. Just try to overlook that. But as the circle expands, it, we're about 50% screen. You see it, it gets a little bit gray right there, but I would argue, look at this right now. You don't mean to tell me that that still is pretty bright. And this is probably around 150 or 160 or so nits. So, I mean, you got to put things into perspective. Do you think that when the circle fills the entire screen that it is so dim that it's unacceptable? How does it look to you when this circle is full field? Is this unacceptable right here? I don't think so, but everybody has, you know, different expectations. Everybody has a different... Uh, a different assessment of what they are okay with and not okay with, what is acceptable, what is not acceptable. I think here, when you see this circle going full field white, I think it's fine. Does it dim down? Yes, absolutely. I can see it right there. You can see a little bit of graying of the circle. So when it's between a 2 and 50% window, it's, it's pretty bright white. And then it hits that spot where the circle kind of turns gray and then it expands. Once it goes, once it has that grayish kind of pulse transition from white to that gray, I don't notice any further dimming from say 60% of the screen to around 100%. But suffice to say, once it slows down a little bit, I do notice it. Okay, I'm not telling you it doesn't exist. I do notice it. I just don't think it's that bad. I really don't. So let's move on to some gaming content. Remember, I had a comment from somebody on my last video telling me that I should try playing Rocket League. And the ABL is so bad and so annoying, it's almost unplayable, especially when a goal is scored. Okay, so here we are. We're playing Rocket League on the C1. I recorded this in 4K60 using my camera. You can see the game is very bright and it's full field bright. I mean, I, it's not the brightest game I've ever seen, but without question, it's a bright, colorful game. So we have a few goals coming up here. Here comes a goal right now. I just, I'm not noticing any dimming. Again, no tricks here. The TV is completely uh, blared out. It's at 100% OLED pixel brightness. It's at 100% contrast. We're playing this in H gig. Brightness for the TV is set at 50. I, I just, I mean, that's a default value. I, not There's no tricks here. I'm not trying to convince you or dissuade you from one opinion or another. I'm just simply showing you real world content and whether or not ABL affects consumption of said real world content. You can make your own decision, okay? So here we are moving on now to Call of Duty Vanguard. And as you leave the building, I, you're looking at the sky. It's a bright, sun-soaked day. I, I, I mean, it looks extremely bright to me. I'm not noticing any obvious dimming. Once the character walks outside, so he comes from a dark building and then goes outside, then yes, you can see some adjustment of the brightness, but that's the game. I promise you, that's the game. That's the character's eyes adjusting from a dark environment to a bright environment. That's not the panel dimming down. You can see here, this is an extremely bright map. You know, what do you think? What do you think? I'm not trying to tell you 
one way or another, my opinion is obvious. I, I just don't think ABL is that bad. And those people who say it is so bad that they had no choice but to return their TV, I just don't know. I don't know what they're seeing. So please enlighten me, you know, let me know another game that I could try where, you know, ABL would be obvious because I'm just not, I'm not seeing it. So here we have Halo on a really bright map. We've got using a sniper rifle, we're looking right into the sky. So we're going, <laughs> I just, I don't see any shifting in color. I don't see any graying of the screen when we look up into these bright skies. You know, people in the comment section of my last video regarding this topic, they said that OLED TVs are unplayable with really bright first person shooters, especially if you look up into a bright sun soaked sky. I just, I don't see it. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Here I ran closer to the sky and we look up really quick See if we can turn around. I I just, I don't know. I don't see it. I tried to find what I deem to be the brightest games in my game catalog, uh, both on PC and on PlayStation 5, and this is what I came up with. This is Godfall. Godfall, unfortunately, only runs in SDR, at least that I could tell, anyway. But regardless, it still can get pretty bright in certain areas. If you look up at the ceiling here, you see that extremely bright highlight that consumes well over half the screen. Again, not noticing any stark, obvious dimming. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what to tell people. Um, this is not, this video is not supposed to come off condescending. It's simply an observance of what we're seeing on the screen. See here another quick shot up the sky and then back down to this really bright and intense blue pool. And here we play Ratchet and Clank. This is in general a really colorful bright game as well. Unfortunately, when I loaded up this game, I was at a point in the campaign where I'm in kind of a dark environment. So it's not an ideal spot to test out or strain ABL. But you can see here, like I told you, I'm in HDR game mode. Brightness, both OLED pixel brightness and contrast are at 100. So I'm just... I'm, I'm not lying to you about that. You can see that even though it's a nighttime environment, the moon is extremely, extremely bright in this game. I'm not noticing any shift in brightness, especially when I go through this portal here and we we get sucked through and you get the, the, that bright golden ring that comes through the screen. There's no quick dimming. I just, I'm sure plenty of you have other examples out there of games that maybe would be better at inducing ABL, but at this point we've seen multiple first person shooters. We've looked up into bright skies, you know, I, I, I played Rocket League. Somebody specifically said Rocket League is unplayable on OLED, especially when you're scored upon. I, again, I saw nothing. So that concludes my real world gaming demonstration. I would sprinkle in movies, but then you have copyright issues by using movie content. So I didn't do that. So it's very possible that by using movie content, I might be able to better induce automatic brightness limiter on my LG C1. But without question, that first test pattern we did with the expanding circle, I did see automatic brightness limiter. It did kick in, it does exist, it is a thing, I agree. And usually around 50 to 60% of the screen, that's when you see that bit of graying down of that white circle as it expands. But then once it grays down quickly, it like pulses to that gray at 50 or 60%, the remainder of expansion from 70, 80 to 90 to full field 100% of the screen, I don't notice any additional dimming. So to me, my opinion stands that I, I just don't think that automatic brightness limiter is all that bad in terms of real world consumption. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Try to be civil. Again, I'm not some paid shill, so you don't have to question my morality or you don't have to call me a liar, a big fat liar. <laughs> I, I, I really, the whole reason why I started my YouTube channel is to talk about my love of tech and I know that there are tons of other people out there who are just as passionate about technology have just as much fun with it as I do and I wanted to get their perspectives as well so I don't expect us all to agree but I think there's one thing we can agree upon is that we all love this topic and we all want to learn more about this topic and we all want to hear other people's experiences especially if you're a prospective buyer right you want to see these this type of content and I try to bring it to you as unfiltered and unvarnished as possible. So, hey, if you have any suggestions for other games that I can test for the channel, please let me know and I will consider testing them.
All right, guys. So until next time, peace.